Hi everybody, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. I thought I would do a vlog. I've not done one before, so I thought today I will start a vlog. I've done a, a haul today for you, so you've you've had um I've, I've uploaded a haul. I don't know if, if any of you've seen that or you haven't seen it, then have a look out for it. It's Home Bargains, Tesco, uh, Iceland and M&S. There's only one item in M&S, but um, wished we were some face masks. Anyhow, I'm not quite sure how this will work, because I'm not sure if I can, like, attach the each daily thing vlog together yet, because I'm not very tech savvy. And I've just got, I've asked a few questions, and people have said to use the iMovie, so I'll give that a go. Anyhow, I digress. I've been doing a declutter, a minimum 10 items a day. I'm this this on here is getting on my nerves, all this paperwork on the fridge. This is stuff that we're on with at the minute. So it is important that it's in view so I don't forget, but it's getting on my nerves because it looks scratchy. So I'm going to sort that out tomorrow. Try and sort it out anyway. Um anyhow yes so to declutter at least 10 items a day um now so tonight i'm going to do my makeup and we'll see how i get on i did do it a while ago so there'll not be tons and tons but i'm sure there'll be something in there that um that i'm want no longer that i'm no longer in need of should i say um during this video if you've got any comments or there's any questions or any Thing, any videos you want me to do whether it's a food comparison or any more hauls um, any different shops that you like hauls from I'm hoping to do some more sewing videos soon um, if we're not what I'm going to do is if we're not um, if lockdown's not lifted in March I'm going to pop to the caravan ring them up and ask if I can go get my sewing machine and bring it back home I'll only be there straight in straight out we are within the same district so I'm not going out of area um, and they're all under the same um, alert level or risk level whatever it's called or tier into it? it's tier so um, it'll just be a case of pop in there pick it up and come straight home so that's not too bad so I'm gonna see if I can go get the sewing machine I did buy a new sewing machine um, earlier on just before christmas and i haven't had time to use it yet i haven't been able to use it because i took it to the caravan and we've been in lockdown so i want to have a play with it and get used to the because there's lots of stitches in it and things like that without it being com a computerized um embroidery machine or anything there's quite a good few stitches on it so and i've got some fabric to start making christmas presents so i want to get on with those as well okay so i'm going to do a makeup haul very very shortly uh, not a haul, a sort out, a declutter. So please tag along. And um, as I was saying about the comments box, I'm hoping to bring you some sewing videos as well. Um, so fingers crossed on that one. As soon as we know whether um, lockdown's getting lifted or not, which to be honest with you, it don't sound very promising at the moment. Um, but we'll see. We'll err on the side of we'll err on the side of caution. Um, I'm just assume we're not so and in that case I won't be able to go uh, and pick the machine up but we'll see uh, we'll see what happens so please stay tuned give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you haven't subscribed then please do if you like this type of video there's gonna uh, my channel is based on like craft and hauls and baking uh, sewing and that type of thing so if you like that please subscribe if you have subscribed thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you very shortly in the little part of the oh you got my thumb in front of the lens then in the first part of the vlog hi guys welcome back to the vlog so this is the part where I'm going to declutter my makeup now it's all in here well most of it's in here anyway I've just got a couple of new gift sets upstairs that I had bought at Christmas but um, the bulk of it's in here so I've got a big bowl here at the side that I can put things in that I no longer want I know for a fact I don't want this anymore because I had it on yesterday and it was just too I don't know it just 
too thick or felt too thick so that's my first item this pulls out i'm gonna go through all these and we've got things i use all the time in there so let's start at the bottom Ugh, let's get everything out of here and my aim is to declutter and get rid of at least 10 items out of here and I've got stuff in here that I've had for blooming ages and I know you're supposed to get rid of it if it um, if it's over a certain been open over a certain length of time. So let's have a look, let's go down to the bottom. Right. right, my cotton buds, they can stay in there because I use them every day. This is empty, but I kept it for the number so that when I bought it again, I'd know uh, which one that I remember. But I'll remember that anyway, so that can go into my tub or bowl, whatever. This is a fairly new, ooh, where are we? This is a fairly new powder. Um, I think I got this last year, back end of last year. Um, it doesn't actually say on there, does it? Just, it usually tells you, doesn't it, how long to use it for. But I think that should be all right because it's fairly new anyway. So I'll leave that in there. Uh, Feeling Cheeky Sculpting Palette. This is by Barry M. I do use that, so that can stay in there. This is Sheer Powder. Barely there. Collection 2000. I have had this for a long time, but... I think I've used most of it and then topped it up again. So it's got a new, a new, like it's like a refill. It's been refilled, should I say. So that's all right. Then Max and More Setting Powder. I got this, this one from Home Bargains. Um, you see on this one, it says after nine months to, dis after nine, nine months after opening to dispose of. Um, I don't really use that because I use the loose powder. So that can go. Now my makeup brushes, they can stay. I have streamlined these. Um, so I've just got ones in here that I do use. My other ones, um, the bulk of them are at the caravan. These are what I use every day. So they need to stay. Makeup setting spray. I don't really use that either. So that can go. That's six months look on that one. So that can go. This is Max Factor Miracle Match. I do use that, so that can stay. And then that's just a little mirror that can stay. And then my brow showcase, that's an Avon brow showcase. That's uh, a new a new one. So I do keep I do use that every day as well. And those brushes with it. So I put a, a hairband around it to keep them all together. So that can stay. this this is glow up bronzer this is a good bronzer because it's matte i don't like shiny bronzers they don't suit me so i only got this last year um so that's fine i do use that nearly every day techniques contour 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 palette um i do use that but how long 36 months that's a that's a good one that isn't it three years um let's have a look here now i'll keep that one I'll keep that this is a nasal thing <laughs> get the hairs out of if your nose or wherever oh. this is one of the oh crikey moses one of the bronzers from home bargains that olivia hale brand i believe uh yeah this ain't got a, oh it has 12 months I do use this. Let me just check the inside of it when I can open it and see what it's like. Yeah, it's going a little bit shiny, so that can go. I need to get another one. So that's all this bit done. Uh, I only got this the other day, and I am going to be doing a review on this later. Um, all I can say is it's amazing. <laughs> so that will be to follow. Uh, this collection, which used to be collection 2000, I think, 
contour kit highlight and sculpt well i don't tend to highlight i don't like highlighter on me i think when you get a little bit older it tends to sink into your creases so i will say creases the wrinkles aren't they that can go this was one of my kits that i got for christmas so this is a new one so that can stay because it's got blushes and things in there as well underneath so that can stay that's a new bit i bought this ultimate cover up full cover face and body makeup but it's totally the wrong color um so that can go and then what have i got in here this is um like you know to do a cut out a crease cut crease when i can speak smoky eye thing so that's to do that i will keep that it's just you can do all different you can use it in different ways it looks like a plectrum doesn't it for a guitar you can do your cut crease here you cut eye you can do it in a shape you can do that you know there's all sorts of shapes and things you can do with that so i will save that if you look at on here this is showing you how to this one you put in the crease of your eyelid and then it, you, you keep your main eyeshadow on the lid so yeah lots of ways to use that one so that's the handy little piece of kit right let's move on to this side oh my friend bought me this brush it's absolutely beautiful is this um let's have a look it's a bit difficult when you're trying to do it with one hand uh this side look it's um it's really really fine like a foundation brush it's beautiful um, and so compact it is really really good is that i like that that can stay because that's new anyway got that last year so that i tend to keep most of my foundations in here so let's look what we've got let's stand them up and have a look what we've got and then we can decide what we're doing with them can stick max factor i love this stuff let me just take the lid off and you can see this one's nouveau beige i've worn this for years the smell is fabulous um that's a really full coverage um stick so if you need something that is really full coverage um then that one is more than you will need it's brilliant stuff is that so that can stay so i've got that and that one this pro pro conceal i don't use that anymore i bought one of the um ones with the sponge on the end this has got a brush on the end but i don't use that anymore so that can go what's this one rimmel um spf 18 light perfecting radiance foundation it's not that one that i tend to use so that can go this is oriflame everlasting foundation i've used that a few times but what's the x what's the thing on that one the use by i can't see what that says it's that small let me see if i can see it closer to my face no i think it's uh, 12 months it says in tiny tiny little writing inside the box thing so that can go it's a bit too pale for me that as well so that can go this one super stay this is um, a good one maybelline 24 hour it's like smudge proof and what have you so that can stay this is a new one that i bought last week from home bargains natural beige that's good as well um it's the one that i went when i did the haul i'd got it in the haul the other week when i was last week when i did the home bargains haul uh, i think it was last week could have been the week before um and this is one where it doesn't show uv for sorry i covered the lens up the cat when you're having photographs taken um if you certain foundations if the uh, like blurring foundations or 
like long lasting or whatever sometimes they've got something in them that reflects it's like a pigment and it reflects within the camera and you can't see until after you've finished your your photographs and it's like makes you really washed out and reflects back into the camera really weirdly so this one is a high definition camera ready which means it doesn't do that uh, in natural beige and that's like my colour it's a little bit dark at the minute with me having no tan but that I'm not worried about that um, because a day in the sun and I'll be back brown again so that's fine and I did use it the other day and it was fine anyway I need to get the little hoover on this and hoover it all out but anyhow that's fine this one is 17 stay time 24 hour 25 hour stay that means stay put by 17 and in natural so that's fine I use that one these are Avon finishing pearls, true for flawless in light medium. Now that says 24 months on there. Uh, yeah, that can go because I've had it longer than that. And these are true colour correcting pearls. I don't really use those, so they can go. That's my foundation sponge so that can go down there my blusher that i'm using at the moment rimmel maxi blusher that's fine i use that every day let me just pop these oh, i'm on this top tier now look i i brow cur eyelash curlers i need those i need that i will sort all this out once i've got rid of what we need to get rid of right that's a brand new nail polish so that can stay it shouldn't be in there the nail polishes are separate that's a um, brush and then that's a Ted Baker lip gloss I got at Christmas a body shop blusher I do use that one uh, this is an oriflame blush which I don't tend to use that it is open I have had it used it a few times but what's the date what's the, the expiry thing on this one um, don't say on there that I can see so it's not really my colour, it's a bit pink, that can go. The Bourjois, I love this one. That's too pinky pink was the Oriflame one. This is like um, a salmon-y pink when I can open it. Just bear with me a minute. Let's have a look. It's got a little brush in there. And although it looks sparkly, when you put it on it's not. I love these, they smell nice as well. I've got a thing about smelling makeup. So that I'll keep because I use that. This is a brand new mascara, Mega Lash uh, Water Mask Water Resistant by Technic. I keep that one. I don't use um, waterproof every day because um, I find it makes my, my lashes brittle. Uh, that's another little brush and pencil sharpener. What I think what it's called. Nude lip liner. I use that. So that's that side sorted, and then. Well, I keep covering that lens, don't I? This side, I tend to have, let's see, uh, in this, it tends to be mainly eye, eyeshadows and what have you. So, let's have a look. What's this one? Um, True Colour Eyeshadow Quad in Sunwash Blooms. This is really pretty. This is a spring one. If I can open it. Right, your Moses, come on. These things are always awkward, aren't they? There we go. Get opened. Come on. Look how beautiful that is. So they're spring colours. So that'll be soon. We're getting that out soon. So let me see. Let's put everything on here and then put them back. Oh, it's hidden in here. Right, so let's have a look. Right. These came in an eyebrow kit, which um, the kit's gone because I bought my new one, but they're mini tweezers. They are handy, the tiny little things. So they can stay. Let me bring this a bit closer to me. That's the spring colours that we've just looked at. Oh, sorry, I keep moving. 
covering you up, Delta. It's going to gripping's a bit difficult. Mm. This eyeshadow in here was, mm. well, I can't remember where I got it from. I've had this about <laughs> 40 years. <laughs> no, not 40, but I'd say 35 years. I just love it. It's a loose glitter and it reminds me of when I first started going out and things. So I don't use it, but I'm not getting rid of it. I'm keeping it. It's a flashback memory wise for me. So keep that. This is a Maybelline gel eyeliner. Um, so I shall keep that because I do use that. This is, what's this one? Turn it around. Body Shop Smoky Black. That's um, a brand new one. So that, can keep that. And this one is, what's this one? All black crayon. I've used that as you can see. Now that one does smudge a bit, so uh, that can go six months anyway. They've had it longer than that, so that can go. There's a couple of little brushes here that I like to keep handy. That one, this one's for my gel eyeliner. Put them in there. And the big gel paint pencil, long wear eyeliner. I keep that one. I do use that. And then this Technic one, this is a brand new one, so that's fine. Keep that in there. What's these? This is a MAC, like, um, shade stick in sharp skin. So I use that, that can stay there. And then this is De Breuer, Breuer. Um, and this is like a, a pearly... Um, um, eyeshadow when I can think what the word is eyeshadow let's keep that I do use that and then we have number seven let's see if I can open it my teeth involved here a number seven eyeshadow that's quite pretty um, stay perfect in number 50 tender so I'll keep that that's nice as a base. It's like an apricot colour. That's quite pretty. Um, this is... I got... Um, last Christmas, I think it was, I got um, like a gift set with a lot of makeup in. And this is the tech... It was Technic stuff. And this is the brow, um, brow kit from it. So I'll keep that as a backup, as a spare. Right, what's this one? I used to, I used to subscribe to My Little Beauty, and I used to get all sorts from them little bits and pieces. This was one of them. This I do like this, um, duo eyeshadow. So they're nice colours. That's called Christmas Melody Duo Smoky Eye. I just love the packaging on that as well. They were a bit quirky with packaging. This is another from, um, My Little Box. Um, this one. It's called Meet Matrimony, Trimony, Matrimony, Matrimony. <laughs> and that's like a dark burgundy purple, but it's beautiful. So keep that one. Again, cute packaging. It's just about marriage. What should I say? Matte eyeshadow palette. Meet Matte, i.e. matte, not shiny. Trimony, Matrimony. She's <laughs> getting a little bit of a Now speak. Um, that's that, and then that's, um, an, oh, crikey, is that open? Oh, no, oh yeah, it is. That must be out of date because I can't remember the last time I used that, so let, let me just check. Teeth on the job again, let's have a look. God, isn't this difficult with one hand? Crazy, crazy. Where's my camera gone? Oop, there you are. No, I can't, I really can't remember when I got that. So, that can go. It's not gunky, but, yeah, we'll uh, add it to the, the bowl, or bin, bin bowl. Technics Shadow Palette. I do like that, gold and bronze and browns, these, I love these colours at the moment. So that can stay there, that's a Rimmel 
in black that's an old one but i do like that and i don't use it very often but it's handy for running out of brow stuff because it just it's nice and soft that pop on now this when i got the gold glitter which i've just shown you i got this as well if i can open it uh so this must be cranky i can't open it but that's an avon spectrum and that's the same age as the gold glitter so it's years old is that so uh, i would say that's 35 years old but again it's my blast from the past so it can stay with that there as a little reminder a little reminisce this is like a silver highlighter shiny eye eye shadow when i can speak um and i don't use this so and i've had this about 10 years so that can go what's this this is instant eye smoother i'll use that i'll keep that there and this is an estee lauder sapphire eyeliner this one is this is a black eyeliner but that smudge you like that as well i do like this one from um, avon it's a nice metallic -y liquid chrome it's called um eyeliner and i do like that one that tends to stay in place now i have got glitter glue two face glitter glue i do use that and this one another coal pencil here that can go because i've had that a while i've got loads of these haven't i what's this oh that's a technique mascara that came with the kit and i haven't used that yet so that can stay in there so that's eyeshadow bit done looking a bit better right now in this top section there's all sorts in here this is the stuff that i tend to grab each day and then just shove it back start off with good intentions at keeping it in sections like it is but then it all ends up <laughs> in the top one so i think we'll do the same again but i'll put them near to me so i can see and reach better what i'm doing so let's have a look here what we've got these mainly lipsticks and things on this side i think if that's can you that snoring that's my dog snoring that's charlie he's horrendous into but he's well away <laughs> so i do apologize for him interrupting the video with his snoring that's the keys for the case oh that's my instructions for my electric um eyelash curler things right i've got again i've got some little ring size of things in here as well i keep them in here so they don't get lost i've got some little tp um teeth cleaners i ought to take them out of there really i'll leave one in there you know on the morning when if you've done your face or whatever and then you have a smile and then if there's a bit of something in your teeth or whatever you can have a good grovel about <laughs> this they are all brand new so that they are clean so i'll take those out and put those in the bathroom right i don't know why this is in here probably because when i'm doing my makeup and i've got ulcer i do it at the same time so that's today that now my friend gave me these but they're far too bright for me i'm not a red person so unfortunately that's gonna have to go she gave me a few red ones because she don't like the red this one's a Technic one out of the kit, so that don't do me any favours either. That can go. What's this one? This is a Technic. This is a plummy, pinky. This is brand new. I've not used this. I might try that one. I prefer like more nudie coloured ones. This is my favourite colour one. Um, and this is called Pout. This is from Avon. It's like a really natural colour. So that is my favorite so i tend to use that quite a lot this um ted baker i got for christmas excuse me i know it's gone black again it's because my arms in front of it and it's a lip crayon again there we go so that one needs to stay and um, this is an oh, i keep crossing the crossing the lens with my arm when i'm trying to undo these i do apologize this is um, an Avon one, that's a deeper colour one, that's better isn't it if I go underneath it, like so, that can stay there. 
I've got um what's this one? Max Factor, this one. That can go, that's a red. And this one is a power stay lip, um, like a matte one, that can stay. That's a perfume that I've got down here, because I have my makeup downstairs, so I'll leave that in there. I've got loads of perfume upstairs, but I brought that down so I can use it as and when I need to. This is another Avon one, but again, it's too, it's too bright, I can't get the right colour. So that can go, and then I've got another Max Factor Red, that can go. You see, I sorted all this out, and I've still got loads. That's a Bourgeois Anti-Fatigue Concealer, that can stay. I have got a Baby Skin, Maybelline Baby Skin Port Eraser, my friend bought me that as well, so that can go in there to stay, because I use that. Anti-Aging Collagen Filler. Put these, these are what you put on before your makeup, so I do use that, so I'll keep that. That one was from Poundland, actually. This one is, what's this colour? Ooh, that's proper red, isn't it, as well? That's another one off my friend. That's going to have to go, lovely, I'm sorry. Um, what colour is this? This is a brand new one. This is a Technic again. I haven't tried that yet. This one, what's this one? Colour is i've obviously tried that that's like a peachy it's sh it's shiny though so yeah apricot i'm not right thrilled with that that's just some eye drops for dry eyes this one is um barium cosmetics in this orange color which i tend to use more in spring and summer and this is this one's off my friend as well this is um a lip Pencil, long lasting lip line, eye, eye or lip liner. I won't put that on my eyes, but I do I do use that sometimes on my lips. And I've also got an Oriflame concealer here, Illusion Concealer, so I'll keep that one. I've got two mascaras here which are both new. Well, this the gold one is the older one, and this this one I bought last week for Slash Effect. The only thing is I don't like this brush. I like this brush in the gold one. So what I've been doing today, when I put my makeup on, I use the brush out of this, but use this mascara. So I need both those. And then I've got another, what's this one? Yeah, that's a bit of a wishy-washy pink for me. That doesn't really suit me either. That can go. And this is a Mary Quant pink that's nice for summer keep that one and this is what color bright nectar that's nice for summer as well so I'll keep those so that's that oh wait a second another lip liner two lip liners and I do use both of those. One's like a neutral colour and one's more of a plum colour or a deeper pink colour. So they can stay. Some cotton buds here. So, oh, that's fallen out of the thing, the eye thing. This is another glitter glue. What I tend to do with these is put them on my eyelids um, before I put um, eyeshadow on and it it makes sure that the eyeshadow stays put. I've tried primers, they don't really work for me. I think it's because I do I've got quite oily eyelids. Look at my boy there. He's the one that's snoring. That's Charlie. He's an old boy. You can see his head going up and down. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. So this is um glitter glue. So, and this then just keeps your eyeshadow in place. As I say, the, the, the primers don't really work for me on my eyes for some reason. Now into my bag that I use all the time. And I might pop this bag in my handbag if I go out or anything. So let's have a look what we've got in here. I have got, let's tip it out into me, into the top of it. this makeup bag for Christmas as well I love it I think it's really pretty um, it's from Home Bargains um, 
Isabella Scott. And I love this big bauble on the end that helps with you, because my hands are not very good with arthritis and that. So anything like that that helps pull zips and things. Silica gel, I don't know why we've got that, that can go. Right, in there I have got my high spreadability fluid cryo by the ordinary. I use that. I've got a Technic lip gloss. This is the one that came in the Technic kit. I do use that every day. And this is a clear lip liner by the Body Shop. I do use that every day. This is one of my colours that I like. This one is Toasted Rose. I think what it was called then. I do use that one. I've got a powder brush for putting my powder on. I've got an elastoplast here. Here. There we go. For my Wicklow. Keep covering it up and uncovering it. I do use um, banana powder. I need to get a new one of these. It's not far off empty. I picked this one up in TK Maxx when they were open. Oh gosh, last year, year before. Um, and then I had it in my box, I didn't use it for a while and then I started using it last year and I've nearly used it all so this works really well on my skin, it's banana dreaming now W7 brand are in home bargains at the moment but I haven't seen this as yet but I am keeping my eyes peeled so I'll be getting one from there when they come in, if they come in I've got tweezers in there so that I know where they are I have got a neutral um, this is by Rimmel eyeliner and I put this on my waterline this makes you look really wide awake and it makes the whites of your eyes look really white so um, that I use every day I have got a brown eyeliner here from Avon and this if I don't have my brow powder or if I'm out and they've smudged a bit whatever I touch up with this because it's not just for eyelining I've got another lip pencil here a pink cashmere that can stay in there actually because I haven't used that for a few days and in my Ted Baker stuff at Christmas I got this brush blusher brush with the Ted Baker blusher when I can open it just bear with me a minute and I'll open it and show you and these are the ones that I'm using at the minute I love these colours they're lovely really pretty so that's that and the blusher brush came with that. I got those from Boots. I've got a hand mirror. This belonged to my mum. So I keep that in my bag all the time. And then I picked this up from Pound Shop last week. Poundland last week. Not last week. When did I go? Well, about a month ago. It's fantastic. And once you've put this on, on the morning, I just put it on my top lid near to my eyelashes. And it doesn't budge at all and it doesn't run and it doesn't smudge or anything fantastic and next time this is brown when i go next time i'm going to have a look for some um, black or at least another brown one anyway um absolutely brilliant goes on so easily it doesn't drag your eyelid or anything and it's really really strong stuff it doesn't either say it don't go anywhere so you remove it with um I remove it with either makeup wipes or, or like micellar water um, so it stays in place but it is easy to remove I don't know if it's waterproof I can't imagine it is with being able to use um, micellar water to remove it but um, however it's really good stuff so that's the end of the sort out because that's that bag all done I didn't think there'd be anything in there really because I say I use that every day that just sits in the bottom so let's have a look what we've got rid of well there's definitely more than 10 items in there, isn't there so we have got let's see one two three four five six sorry i'm trying to hold this oh hold this ipad and six did i say two four six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I'm trying to hold the iPad with one hand and do anything else with the other. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 
25 with the packet, 26, 27. 27 items that's decluttered. So I think that's quite good for just to ferret about in my makeup bag. I've got rid of all the stuff that I don't need anymore and what I've changed my mind on or I don't like or don't suit me. Uh, at least now I know I need to get a new um, bronzer from Home Bargains next time I go in. But other than that, the rest of it can go. Um, so yeah, I hope that inspires you to have a go. Have a look through yours. As I say, I did it not long ago. I got rid of loads. It was jam-packed. Um, I have got a load more at the caravan, which I haven't sorted out yet. But I will be doing one real loud back there. So for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. And join me in the next part of the vlog. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my blog. Well, I don't know where about where you live, but today it's like a blizzard coming at me. I'm just in my bedroom and the river across there, directly across is the River Trent. And it's quite high at the moment, so fingers crossed it'll stay where it is. <laughs> um, yeah, the snow's coming down like I don't know what. The sky is absolutely full of it. I had to go out this morning and take my car for MOT. Oh, and then it fell on a tyre. I'll pause this and I'll come back. Ah, uh, yes, I'm back. Yeah, so I had to take my car out for MOT. It failed on a tyre. So I went up to the, um, the tyre place and got a new tyre on and then got a... Retest, so it's all done now, thank God. Um, and then tomorrow, if I'm not snowed in, I will be going and doing my shopping for the week. Um, I've done my hair, as you can see. I did that yesterday. I'm just going in the shower now because it's all flat and stuck to my head with my hat on. I had my bobble hat on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going, um, I'm going in the shower and then tomorrow it'll be back to normal. Um, I'm quite pleased. I used some tan on my face the other day. I've never, ever used fake tan on my face before but I bit the bullet I bought a brand new foundation brush last week and I thought I would give it a go at least then when I haven't got any makeup at least I've got a little bit of colour I've took my nails off and I've decided I'm going to do some clear gel on these uh, gel polish and see how I get on with them they're irritating me because they're so short at the minute they've got a little bit of growth on um, so I'm going to just see if I can persevere and grow them again. My nails do grow pretty well. So like my hair, my hair grows like mad as well. That's my dog barking. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and give them a grow, give them a chance to grow. But I'm going in the shower now and then I'm going to put some clear gel on them. So I will say goodbye for now and I will speak to you on the next vlog. I hope you like these vlogs. I'm not really sure. It's the first time I've done vlogs, so we'll see. If you do, give us a thumbs up at the end and uh, a comment if you do. And if not, I won't do any more. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye, loves. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I've just, well, kind of done my hair. It needs cutting. It won't stand up properly, but at least I've got the pink back in. Um, I'm going to trim it a bit later, I think. Sorry, I'm jigging about, aren't I, with you? I, uh, I'm just getting ready to go and do my weekly shop, so I'm no doubt be bringing you a haul. A little bit later, I'm going to Aldi's today, so I don't think I've done an Aldi haul. Um, so that'll be something new for the channel. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all having a good day. Um, and I hope that you're staying safe. The weather here is, although it's sunny, it's still very snowy. And the forecast more snow up to 15 centimetres over Lincolnshire um, this afternoon. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go this morning before it gets bad weather while the sun's out at least a little bit of it's melting um before it comes down the thing is when it starts melting it's then when the temperature drops isn't it and then it goes like icy and then it snows on top and then it's lethal but if you need to go out please be safe please be careful on the roads um my hub is down uh, in london and he says it's quite bad down there but not as bad as it is up here at the moment so just be careful on the roads and be careful underfoot as well because uh, the roads do tend to clear quicker than the paths and the paths and that are a bit um dangerous at the minute so be really really careful because the thing is it's not just for like slipping 
and hurting your foot and things like that. It's slipping and, say, breaking your ankle and having to go to hospital, and then you can get COVID off wherever, whenever, uh, and then you're laid up um, and not being able to get out even more, and you're not allowed to get out now anyway, just for um, incapacity reasons. So please, please, please be careful. I will do the haul. I've got a little two other dogs here playing, play fighting, <laughs> chasing each other around the bedroom waiting for me to get dressed. So I shall do that without further ado. Stay safe. See you very soon, my loves. Bye-bye. Hello. Today has been a tiring day, even though I've only been shopping. Um, it's the end of the vlog bit today. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to cut my hair in a minute. I dyed it yesterday. No, I didn't. Sunday. I want to get a chop into it tonight. So you'll see that tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. I've done an Aldi haul and Tesco and Iceland and... Not... Te yeah, Tesco mini haul. And Home Bargains. And I need... I'm going to upload that. So you probably see that before you see this. So... For now, I'm going to say good night, bien avadu, I think that's what you say, and I will see you on the next part of this vlog. Okay, see you soon, guys. Bye. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. It's Amanda. I managed to get my hair cut a bit last night, but I think I need to just tweak it a little bit. Um, I'm fresh faced. We'll go, we're in the snow at the moment. I'll show you. Here we go, it's very snowy. I'll take you down the garden. Let you have a look at the snow. The dogs playing. They came in this morning, they look like snowballs. <laughs> covered in snow, they've been rolling about in it. Down my garden. Ooh, I don't know what it's like where you are, if it's still snowing. Uh, I've just been a couple of miles around the road and it were clear. But anyhow, this is us today. And it's about, I'd say, I don't know, maybe it's, let's see, on my boots, three, four inches deep, three, four inches. But I love to see it. My feet are toasty warm. I bought these boots about five years ago, hiking boots, and I've never worn them. Uh, and I thought today, because I've left my wellies at the, va at the van, I thought I would give them an airing and see what they're like. And I'm glad I did. They're really comfy. There's the church, which is next door to my house. That's Charlie. Charlie! <laughs> He's the old boy. Where's Barney? That's Barney. Chasing my feet. And Toby's over there as well. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit of snow. I don't know where you are in the country or the world. If you're watching overseas, don't know if you've got the snow, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what the weather's like, where you are. And uh, we'll see what, uh, what the weather brings later on today. The forecast, another heavy downpour for this afternoon. The sky looks pretty grey in places, but the rest of the day, the time, it's really blue. So I'm not really sure. My mum always used to say, if you can see blue in the sky, it won't rain or snow, so, but I'm not sure. It always looks heavy when it's really white, the snow, um, the sky, it looks really heavy. But, unless that's just me, I don't know, it could be, couldn't it? So I'm going to go back up her, into the house and get my shoes off, boots off, and make a cup of tea, because I'm cold. It's minus two here at the minute. Um, so I need to get warmed up, I need to stoke the fire up a little bit and I'm going to finish off my haul video and upload that for you. So I'll see you very soon in the haul video, but for now it's bye bye from me and bye bye from the boys. Bye loves! Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to the vlog. I've just done a product review video and I will be uploading that tonight. This is just an end to this week's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It seems a bit hit and miss um, for me this week. So because it's the first vlog, I hope you'll bear with me and the next one will be better. I've got a little boy on my knee here having a cuddle because he's not very well today. Is uh, This is Toby. 
he's not of Teddy Well, he's having a love with Mummy. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to pop this on upload and upload the uh, product review video. And then I'm going to watch Piers Morgan and his life stories with the GC. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's totally dreadful that she gets lots of bad uh, publicity and trolling and things. Um, I do really feel sorry for her, but not sorry for her in a pitying way. I feel sorry for her that she's getting all this bad press and, and things. I think it's totally unfair. Everybody has to do what they have to do, and they have to live their lives the way they want to live their lives, not to suit other people. So, yes, I'm going to watch that in support of her and hope that it comes across very well today, which I'm sure it will do. So, give me a thumbs up if you like the vlog. Uh, let me know if you think it could do with a bit more content in it. Um, and, yeah, any ways that we can make it better? Do you want to see things happening each day? Like, I mean, I did the snow walk down the garden in... Well, the snow walk, the walk down the garden in the snow. Um, but if you want to see anything in there like me... I don't know, preparing dinner or cooking dinner or anything like that, then just let me know. So I've got my gym jams on, got my dressing gown on. I am now going to watch the um, Piers Morgan and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, my darlings, and stay safe and be kind.